Hello everyone and welcome back to Vault 88. All right. <clears throat> now, to be perfectly honest with you guys, <laughs> I've already I already recorded this episode once and I had to do it again. This is the second attempt. The first one I didn't realize until after I was done recording that the mute button on my recorder had accidentally been pushed and so it had no sound <laughs> at all. So yeah, anyway, I had to do it again, which is unfortunate because I actually did the next part of the quest. I talked to the ghoul lady. I built the overseer desk. I went down into the other part of the vault, that one over there and the tunnel one of the tunnels over there and killed the enemies that were down there and stuff. So I'm sorry you guys don't get to see that because I already recorded it, I already did it, and I didn't have a save to fall back on, unfortunately. <laughs> so I put the overseer's desk in here and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... Um, I have so many characters in Fallout that I don't have enough save space. The PS4 only lets you have a certain amount of saves per game. Or, yeah, I guess per game. And they're all full. Okay. So each of my characters has maybe 10 saves. This character that I'm doing the builds with, um, he hardly has any saves actually, because most of my saves are are being used for saving various stages of different characters' builds that are separate from my actual gameplay saves and different things like that. So I usually, for builds, I record over my last save after I've recorded an episode. And I didn't notice that there was no sound on the recording until after I had recorded over the previous save. So I can't, I can't um, just go back and do it again, unfortunately. I knew there was one still there. I, I killed all of these mole rats, except I saw one run off and it never came back while I was down there. And, uh, yeah, it just keeps hiding. I can't... There, there it is. Ah, no! Huh. Okay. Anyway, I ran out of ammo. <laughs> In my, um, combat rifle. I had, uh, just... I have six bullets left. Doing that. I went down... Um, all the way... I don't want to... I don't really want to, like, I don't know. So I went through all of these tunnels and followed all that one all the way down that way. I got the next, um, what's it called? Circuit board thingy to put so that we can activate the, the workshop in that area. And I also went, um... I also went down this tunnel here and got the circuit board. Killed all the ghouls down there. And uh, yeah, so that is what I have done. Plus building the overseer's desk. And I also put a railing on this the rest of the way around. Now, I'm not happy with these railings because they don't have transitions that go on to the stairs and then you got to do this weird clipping thing and it looks odd I, I went to vault 81 and looked around to see how their vault was made and stuff and they have transitions the railing transitions onto the stairs and even if you put the end that doesn't have this curved piece on it like that it just goes out straight it goes the top one goes above the stair and it looks funny 
But this looks funny too. Just maybe not as funny. I don't know. I'm... I feel like it was a little bit lazy. I mean, they bothered to put a transition for the corners. Which I'm glad they did. But why couldn't they go ahead and put a transition onto stairs? Just give us a piece that has the transition. I don't know. Anyway. It's typical though, isn't it? Of Bethesda. They just... It's like they forget. They have... They... They do a lot of cool stuff, but then they just forget some of the most basic things. Like giving us... Like giving us... Um, cash registers! That was one major disappointment for me. Is that they did not give us cash registers. They didn't give us a countertop with a cash register to use as a store instead of the stupid lemonade stands. So if we have a store and a vault, we have to still use the lemonade stands. Which doesn't fit in with the vault at all. You know? Anyway, I could rant forever about this kind of thing, so I'm going to stop right now. All right, now, another thing I wanted to, to talk about was... <laughs> I got a lot of comments in my last video where people trying to tell me how to do the lighting and everything. And I appreciate the help, you know. I just, I didn't need the help. I didn't... I think everybody misunderstood what I was talking about about the generator and how do how does the power connect I wasn't asking how does the power connect I already knew that you stick these on the wall and stuff like that so as you can see I've done it and I did it even before I read your guys's comments I I just I knew this already okay the thing that I was and it wasn't even really a confusion I think a lot of you thought I was confused and so you're trying to help explain things to me but that's not... I wasn't confused so much as I was just wondering. It was a wonderment, okay? Because the thing I was wondering about was... Is this generator hooked to the main vault? Like the part that you build? Because the way that the power flows, it flows through these vault pieces here. But this generator isn't, can, isn't touching any of those vault pieces. It's on this concrete floor, and those are concrete walls. It's like, um, it looks separated from the vault, is all I was saying. And so I was just wondering. I didn't doubt that it worked so much. I just It just looked like it shouldn't work, is what I was saying. Okay. It looked like it shouldn't power my lights that are down there, just because it's not connected to these vault floors and stuff. Anyway, that's all it was. I already knew how to hook up lights and stuff like that. Now, I have a quest to turn on the radio beacon, but I don't want to do that yet because... Well, I don't have my vault build. I don't have beds. I don't have things, you know? And I'm not going to just plop a bunch of sleeping bags on the floor until I get quarters built. And I don't want settlers walking around and getting in my way. So I am not going to do that until I have more of the vault built. Alright? <clears throat> Alright, so, now, to, let's get down to building. <laughs> I'm going to put something over here. I, I think, so this is going to be the main hub, right? There's going to be the shops, and the barber and the cafe and the, you know, the things like that right out here. And somebody suggested that they didn't think that the fitness center and the clinic and stuff like that should be in this main area. And I, I get what you mean. It's not like it's a, a store that you can just go shop in or something. But I still would like it to be part of the main hub, I guess. So, I think what I'm going to do then is make a separate hub, a different kind of hub over here, where they can have the fitness center and the clinic. So they're not going to be just obscure and out of the way. Anyway, I'm going to use these, the wide halls. So it's more, not so claustrophobic. And then those will come off of them, okay? That's what I'm thinking. So, what I want to do now is get a transition piece. 
Oh, you know what? Yeah. So I think I want the door here. I, I'll have to remove this so I can get a... Oh, wrong tab. So I can get a wall piece. Now I have already built this, you guys. Um, I guess I didn't need to remove the, the floor. <laughs> Just the top part. Um, yeah, I already built this. So it's not. I'm not going to be as fumbly as I was last time, though there will be a little bit of fumbling. Oh wait, should I do that one? Or should I do that one? That's a lower... Oh, so I did need to remove the floor. I thought so, I just couldn't remember. See, like, I, I have a really bad memory, so I will forget stuff. So there will still be a little bit of fumbling just because of that reason. Alright. Now I'm going to put the floor back up. I couldn't snap that in with the floor in the way. Alright, so now I can put this kind of thing in there. So I'm going to put the transition hallway on there. And I think this is the right way. Yes, so it transitions from the um, residential to the utility hallway. <laughs> like, I don't know why it matters that they have different hallways. Whatever. <laughs> So then I'm going to add this kind of thing on to it. So I need a transition piece for that, and that will be the one with the door in it. This one. Let's stick that on there. Oh! I always forget, I always forget, I always forget. I need to put the cap on the end first. Urgh. I wish they could just have the like a p one that has a cap already built onto it so you don't have to keep forgetting I constantly forgetting to add the cap on the end <laughs> okay now I'm going to put a four way like um, junction here and I'm going to have a door uh, let's do this door here and that will go into the gym. I'm going to make this whole area back here the gym. Okay? And then um since I can't walk under this I saw somebody on Twitter shared with no respawns uh today that they put an elevator in their vault. And it wasn't like just sitting out in the middle of the floor either. It was enclosed in an elevator shaft. And thats I thought that was really cool. I might try to do that for the, for the overseer's office. And then that'll free up this whole big area back here that I can't really put anything in. So I might try to do that. No response replied to the tweet and said that he was going to make a video on how to do it. <laughs> so I'm probably going to end up watching that and seeing if I can duplicate it. But right now I'm, I'm doing this. So I'm going to put one of these right there. Do you see those like little areas on the sides of hallways and stuff in the vaults? And there'll be like crates and stuff in them. I don't know. Something to put there. Especially since they don't have flat walls that you can put there for these big things. So now I'm going to put another junction. And then on this side, I'm going to put another door. And this will be the clinic, I think. I don't know if it's going to be big enough, though. There's, there's only room here for one you know, section. So it could be like one by maybe one by four, it looks like. It could always curve over here too. It might be big enough. I'll build the room and then if it doesn't work for a clinic, I'll put the clinic somewhere else. Now, for this side, these two sides, I can put a room here or I can put a room here. I don't know if uh, I kind of like to put a hallway going out maybe and then like 
making it come this way and then I can have rooms over here but they would be pretty small of course I do want the hallway to come out and then go down that way probably but I haven't really decided what I want to do over here yet so I'm going to leave this side open for now but I probably will put a room over here but not right now not today today I'm going to build the gym because I don't know I just want to <laughs> that's that's just a fact I want to all right so let's get rooms um let's see what kind of room common room which has the same kind of floor it's basically the same okay I think I like this one with the blue walls it has a concrete floor so let's do that I'll just stick that there and then we'll get a corner piece and another corner piece Wow, that's tight. <laughs> tight. And then a... Oh, right. I got out of the tab without realizing it. Um, and another corner piece. Um, these. And a corner piece. There it is. Now, before I put the walls there, you know what? I need to put walls across this. Or they won't snap on. So, I need to do that. Um, and actually, I think I would like to have a window. There it is. A window. So we can look into the gym from in here. And then a wall. You know what? Another inconsistency. All of these walls have like a trim right here and like rust or whatever dripping down. And these ones don't. Why is that? Why didn't they make them all the same? I, I know that they're probably for putting up there, but they should have had another one that doesn't have a floor attached so they have the, they have the ones with the floors attached these ones that do have the trim and stuff but I can't put these here because I can't put one over here I can put them all along here and I actually not really these are these aren't upper floors these are for like putting up here or up on a upper upper level they don't have the upper floor on it and even if I did if even if I could use them for that purpose I wouldn't be able to put one right here because this is part of the big atrium wall and I can't remove the floor or the ceiling I mean from this side so I have to use these but they should have made one that looks like the rest of them <laughs> it's just um, kind of odd Kind of odd. All right, let's just finish up here. So now we need the window piece. We'll go um, right there, but first we need this right here. And solid and then window. Um, corner. Now well, first we need this one, and I need to make sure it's facing the same way as the others. There we go. And last but not least, oh, another corner piece, definitely. Okay. Now that's a door. There it is. There. Now, I discovered something in my first version of this episode. <laughs> Their corners. They don't have reverse corners, so they have these corners, pieces, but they don't have like a reverse corner option, like the, what you would put right here. And they also don't have anything that can snap in right there, but they do have this thing. 
and it's called an inner corner. But it sticks up above the ceiling and it doesn't snap. You can't snap it in right here. But you can maneuver it really closely and get it in there pretty darn close. Just gotta make sure it's straight is all. Oh, now it's not gonna, oh, there it goes. And um, I I think that they actually look really good. They make it, they make it, um, look finished. It's not perfect by any means, but and I actually got that one kind of crooked. But they didn't give us another option of closing off these corners, so I don't know what they expect us to do. Just not make rooms with reverse corners? <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't know if that's any better. No, I do, do need to slide it a little bit. See, I'm trying to make it look good up there, but at the same time make it look good down here, so it's kind of... Yeah, that's good enough, though, I think. Find another one. Let's put right here. At least I haven't found anything that snaps to these, so if you guys know of any, let me know, because it's... This is frustrating. <laughs> and also... I noticed. So, they ha these are the same things, basically. This thing right here. And they are between each wall piece, wall section. And I put one in the corner right here. Because it looked funny without one. Like this corner over here. This corner, see how it... It just doesn't look natural. It looks like it's clipping in wrong. And it flickers a little bit sometimes. And they didn't give us anything that is meant to go there. And so that's really frustrating. I mean, I don't know what that's... That's like what we should have, except without a floor stuck to it. And it should just nap in. You know what I mean? It's odd that we have this thing. It sticks up way above the floors. It's probably for a different purpose. Inner corner mid. They don't have something called an inner corner bottom or top. Trim. What's the trim for? Huh. Yeah, they don't have something... I don't know. It's odd. It's odd and weird and... Uh, but, oh well, we can use it for these purposes at least to make our corners look like they're part of the rest of the of the thing. I don't know. I think it just makes it look a little bit better and a little bit more completed. You know what I mean? Alright, anyways. Oh, we need to put a wall here, I believe. Or maybe we should put a little closet. <laughs> I actually don't know if I could force anything into that spot, but I probably can. Let's see. I need something. Yeah, I can. But it's a hallway. And a hallway that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> they don't have end caps for hallways, do they? That aren't doors? Or do they? No. Oh, they do. Okay, well, let's try it then. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that in my last video. Except I didn't really want it to be a hallway so much. I want it to be one of those little alcoves that they can stick stuff in, you know what I mean? Because this looks like a hallway. But then it's not a hallway. I don't know, maybe we'll just put a wall there. Just put a wall there.
There. All right, let's work on the gym some more. All right, so it's kind of dark in here. Let's get some lights going. So we need to go into the light tab. And get some little conduit thingy. I guess I'll just put one right there. And I will probably need one over here too. All right, <clears throat> now. In the last episode, I went on and on about lights for a while because they're stupid. <laughs> lights are stupid in the vaults. I hate the vault lights. And I'll tell you why. For one thing, you can't put them on the ceiling without it looking like they're floating. Okay? Because they are. They're floating. You put them on there and they float because of this little dip that that they have. So unless you like stick it on the actual bump part that sticks down, but it still looks stupid. It looks really stupid. So that's dumb. And all of them do that. They all float. These ones don't even light up. They do shine on the floor, but they don't light up. At least mine aren't in this room. However, this one out here is so I have one right here one of those same kinds and it's lighting up but for some reason in this room they're not but they are shining on the floor they're just not shining they're not lighting up up there I don't know and then we have these which are less obvious as lights but they are lights but they still float so that's annoying. And my biggest beef with them though, because I can ignore the fact that they're floating, because how much do you actually look at the ceiling anyways? I mean, you don't really look at the ceiling all that much. So I can ignore the fact that they're floating most of the time. It's really hard to center those. But I hate the spotlight look. Okay, a light like that would brighten up way more of the room than it is. And I was looking at Vault 81 and they have the exact same lights in their vault, but they like light up the whole room. None of this spotlight mess. Now if I wanted to light up my whole room, I would need to put these every couple feet just to light up the entire thing. See? And I'd have to put one here and I'd have here and they'd have to put one here and even if you put one every couple feet you still get these little modeled shadow areas which I just can't stand I don't know it's just you shouldn't have to put that many lights in here to light up the room <laughs> now there are better lights in the game, ones that light up better than this. Most of them don't though. Most of them have the spotlight feel to them. The, whoops, wrong, accidentally clicked on the, the roof piece. Okay, so I'll show you. Um, So like, you know, even these ones barely light up the room at all. I guess these more are for like atmosphere than anything. Oh, I did it again. What in the world? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just not on par today, am I? Okay. <sighs> and back to lights. You know, these, these don't light up very good at all. Um, spotlights... Well, you know, they're spotlights. And... Even these ones... Do a spotlighty kind of feel, except that they are more of a yellowy light, which I like better. I don't like the super bright white lights, but... 
I don't know. <laughs> These ones light up the entire room. Well, almost the entire room. But you'd only need, like, a couple of them to light up the entire room. And that's how it should be. Light bulbs light up an entire room. That's just a fact. You know, even small ones give a pretty decent amount of light and they don't have a really definite... Unless it's a spotlight, it doesn't have a definite circle of its radiant... radius, whatever. I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> These ones also only light up the immediate area where they are. And so you have to put a lot of those down. And these ones are the best. Even though they're not the prettiest, they are the best. They light up a ton of space. They light up almost that entire side of the room. And the light isn't bright white. It's a, it's a slightly yellower light. You can see the difference. But I don't want to use these. They don't look like they go with the vault anyway. So I haven't decided what I want to do in the lighting department yet. But just a couple of those lights up the entire room. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, for now, I'm not going to worry about lights right now. I am going to put down some of the exercise equipment. But first I need to put down some rubber mats to put the exercise equipment on. So maybe I'll do... Something like that. That's a funny sound that they make when they go down. Hmm. So maybe I'll put some... And I'm not going to try to put them like perfectly straight because I want it to make it look like they got slid a little bit. You know what I mean? People kick them around a little bit. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put some... Let me see. I think I'm going to put the pommel horse over here. And I'm going to put some weight benches over here. So I'm going to do that. Just maybe put some... areas over here for weight benches. Maybe put a few single ones. I don't know. That one needs a... <laughs> needs one. Maybe make it look like it got kicked out of its out of, out of its spot. <clears throat> and then maybe I'll put some of the, once I get them, I don't have them yet, but I'll put the exercise bikes over here. So. And let's see. And we need one by the door as you come in. And like that for now. All right, well, let's put some exercise equipment in there now, if I can remember where they are. Are they in furniture? Um. Are they? Yes, they are. Alright, so I'll put the pommel horse over here because these need a lot of space. With the people flinging themselves all around. Don't want them to hit their legs on the, uh, the wall and stuff like that. So, And then the barbells over here. Okay. Now, I am also going to be putting other stuff in here, like lockers and stuff like that. 
like I don't know I'll put uh, and I'm gonna put the, be putting the bikes on that side or maybe I could put bikes in the middle here and put lockers over here I don't know haven't decided on that one yet let me know what you guys think too because I, I like I like to hear you guys' opinions so bikes over here or bikes in the middle where we can put lockers. Otherwise I put bikes along there and then just put like some a couple lockers here. But I'm gonna put some benches and and stuff like that. So yeah. Also let me know about the clinic. Well I'm I'm gonna build the room back here. Um but I think I'm going to do it in the next episode. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do about this. I'm probably going to build a hallway that goes over here so that I can go that way. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this area down here. This area is humongous. And it's very... Yeah, there's... I don't know. What do you do with this? Can you build into these with the vault pieces? Can you actually like fill these up with vault pieces? I'm just wondering. I know you can in these train tunnels. Oh yeah, I didn't kill the queen. Because I ran out of ammo. <laughs> so I have to kill the queen later. I have to go get some more ammo. And my character isn't very good with um, energy weapons. I have, I have the Wazer rifle because Sean gave it to me, and so I use it. But I'm not very good with it. It doesn't have. Um, whoops! <laughs> Why did I just push that button? It doesn't have very good um, stats. That's as high as I can level it up. It has this the highest. I can get it, but with this character, because I don't have any perks in energy weapons at all. Because I was using um, semi-automatic weapons with this character, mostly the combat rifles and stuff like that, so that's what I am better at. Anyway, so I ran out of ammo in my good guns <laughs> and couldn't kill the queen. Alright, anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to call this episode good. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to build down there. That's a huge area down there. Or where I'm going to build the quarters. I suppose I should start thinking about the quarters. And perhaps I might build an elevator in the next episode, or at least in a very soon upcoming episode. Because I like the idea of the elevator better, actually. I mean, Vault 81's got elevators, right? So why can't I? <laughs> and also, it would free up a bunch of space back here where I can't build anything because of this in the way. So, we'll see. All right. That is it, y'all. Until next time. <sighs> yeah, just give me your um, suggestions and stuff like that. And I will see you all guys uh, later. All right. Bye.